here's another one of those big no-nos, things that you are not going to want to do in stair building. And again, I've seen plenty of stairs that last like this for years. So when I say this is something that you shouldn't do, that's exactly what I mean. This does not mean that something like this won't last for years. Now here's the problem. The full stair stringer, the bottom of the stair stringer is not resting entirely on the foundation or the raised landing here, concrete landing. Now here's what can happen, especially in a situation like this. This is a three stringer stairway and if one of the stringers breaks it won't be as bad as if it was a two stringer stairway where you would have one at each end. The center, if the stringer on the edge where the air was pointing breaks, then the stringer in the middle could actually hold you up, could hold up the stairway for quite some time. But if you only have two stair stringers, one on each side, and you do not have a stringer in the middle, and it was to crack, then you could end up with a big problem. Trust me, if you're walking up this thing, carrying a refrigerator or something heavy up this stairway, when it decides to split right here, when it decides to split right there, you're not going to be happy. You're not going to be happy at all. Now, here's basically where it could split. The grain in most of your stair stringers, now this is conventional lumber, this would not be the same if you were using a microlam, paralam, some type of a man-made laminated material. You wouldn't, have a you wouldn't have a grain that could actually crack. It would be a totally different thing, scenario. Um, and again, I wouldn't say to, you know, you need to always have something underneath the bottom of the stair stringer needs to be supported. Microlam, paralam, or, or regular conventional construction standard lumber like this. Now here's what happens. Over time, the lumber starts to dry out. And when it starts to dry out, it could crack. And if it starts to crack, then you are going to have a problem eventually. Now there are ways to fix something like this. If it does start to crack, all you need to do in a situation like this is pour an additional concrete footing underneath the stairway here. And again, this wouldn't be difficult to do. All you would need to do is drill a couple of dowels um, into the concrete footing that's already there and just extend the original footing a little bit farther out uh, just so that you have enough support underneath the stair stringers.